guys, what's up? Jason here from Premier Aviation HD and ShareAviation.com. And I asked you guys a while back to submit some questions in the comments section on a specific video. And we got some great questions. Uh, and today I'm going to answer a couple of those questions coming from one specific viewer. Um, but I just wanted to let you know um, the answer to this question um, is already available out there. Uh, you can check out Josh's take on the question at his channel. That's Mr. Aviation 101. But I'm going to give you a little bit of a different take on it. Uh, the question comes to us from uh, YouTube user Future Airborne 2015. And his question was How do you capture cockpit audio? I've heard of several different ways. Uh, I'm not really sure. Also, what kind of software do you use to edit your videos? Let's start off with the second part of the question first. I use, and I do know um, a lot of other people use, Adobe products. Kind of a combination of Adobe Premiere, CS6, and Adobe After Effects. Composition of the general episode from the introduction to the interview, you know, kind of like I'm doing now, to the, uh, the cockpit um, uh, content as well. That's all composited in Adobe Premiere and then any add-ons like the titles, um, 3D animations, anything like that, that's added uh, in Adobe After Effects. I can really recommend and I actually started out using Adobe Premiere Elements. Um, it's available as a subscription now. I think the older versions um, is just, just like a regular download. If you um, do decide to go down the route of using Adobe products. If, if you are, are a student of any kind that's eligible, uh, you do get a very substantial discount. So the second part of the question is how do we record cockpit audio? And um, you're going to need a couple of different things. The first thing you'll need is a two female quarter inch to male quarter inch stereo audio adapter and a quarter inch male to one eighth inch male stereo audio patch cord. You can get these at Radio Shack or Amazon. Then you'll need an audio recorder. Make sure you choose one that has a line input or an audio in input. That's very important. Then you'll also need a aviation headset. I'm assuming if you're flying airplanes you probably have one of these. Now once you start the initial configuration, you're going to plug in the headset out into one of the open ports on the adapter, plug the patch cord into the other side. So that's giving you a spliced in connection with an eighth inch male out. Now you're going to plug that into the audio recorder. This is going to be the mic input. At this point you should have everything pretty much configured. You've got the two plugins that go into the aircraft audio and your headset's ready to go. Now it's time to change the audio recording option in your audio recorder. It should be defaulted to the mic input. It's important to change it to the audio in or the aux in. Otherwise you'll have distorted audio on the mic setting. At this point you can go ahead and plug the unit into the aircraft's audio system and begin recording. I'll have details in a future episode on how to line up the audio track with your video footage.